news that uh, Cyclone Yasi has escalated into a Category 5 cyclone. The town of Cardwell has been very difficult to get into, but I can advise that uh, emergency crews have cut their way into, into Cardwell in the last uh, 20 minutes or so. So we've only got very early reports, but uh, there's been extensive uh, force into this town. The residents in the town of Cardwell are struggling to stay positive as they pick through the remains of their homes and businesses. In the immediate term, our task today is to get emergency workers on the ground and start the process of cleaning up and that's exactly what we'll be doing. The emergency crews report what they say is significant devastation of the township of Cardwell. Boats ha uh, have been pushed two blocks up into the, uh, the township, so they have experienced significant storm surge and that has caused extensive damage. This was the marina just south of the town, a millionaire's playground. Now it's a multi-million dollar junkie. More than 70 boats, some huge vessels, swept up by the storm surge and the high winds from the cyclone and smashed onto the edge of the marina. It's just unbelievable to see those pontoons that, and those houseboats that are just sitting up, have been lifted up and are just sitting on the road. Um, you know, and just the force of nature to get them there is just incredible. Uh, nevertheless, I do expect that we will find people in very difficult and extreme circumstances and of course we'll be doing everything we can through our relief appeal to look after them too. They will be going back into their communities, going back into their neighbourhoods and facing scenes of considerable devastation. And if you are feeling alone, can I say to you, you are not alone. You are about to find people from all over Queensland coming into your communities to help you rebuild and restore your lives. Well, this morning it's pretty devastating. Um, it's unreal. It's, um, it's just a war zone. There are about 95% of the boats are all in one corner of the marina. There's um, all the pontoons have gone with the boats. Uh, there are certainly issues with uh, roads. Uh, at one stage today, uh, we had to remove our people out of Cardwell because of the second surge. Teams of emergency workers, as I've said, trying to get their way into isolated towns. Uh, they've just got into Cardwell and there are many other small towns in that area that they will be trying to get into. Uh, in Cardwell, a lot of work's been done. Um, by both the Australian Defence Force and the CES. And, um, at the moment we're going around to the locals areas and um, clearing driveways and clearing access routes, um, clearing the railway crossings just so they can get back to a normal way of life. Back in early February, the whole world watched as one of the biggest cyclones ever seen in Australia crossed the coast just to the north of here. Insurance claims alone have totaled more than $1.1 billion. Cardwell's come a long way in six months. From a sand-swamped main street to bustling shops packed with tourists, the boats that clogged Port Hinchinbrook Marina have been cleared too. The resort's still closed, bogged down in a legal battle between developer Ben Williams and residents and house after house along the beachfront remain deserted. Many have left town. Enrolments at the local school have dropped more than 30%. In Cardwell, Michael Best, 7 News.